Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we recorded this interview on the 29th. That, that was on Friday, just about 15 hours uh, before the strike happened at Ayman al Zawahiri. Now, there, there were a lot of efforts uh, which were, uh, that went behind this interview because Sirajuddin Haqqani is not an easy man to get. So the efforts of our investigations editor Manoj Gupta have to be uh, considered. The other aspect is that the CNN News 18 team was just about a kilometer or kilometer and a half away from Sherpur uh, region where this strike actually happened early in the wee hours, early, uh, early morning on Saturday. And uh, more importantly, what Sirajuddin Haqqani told CNN News 18 is important. And you have to look at the words and it sounded very ominous when he said Al-Qaeda as an organization poses no threat and it is as good as dead. And hours, 15 hours after he says this, Sirajuddin Haqqani says this, Ayman al-Zawahiri is dead. So this, this uh, is, is it quite ominous. The other aspect is the Pakistanis said Osama is not on our soil and he, they were found in Abu Dhabi. He was uh, neutralized in Abu Dhabi. The Taliban say Al-Qaeda is not on our soil and Ayman al-Zawahiri is neutralized in the heart of Kabul. But is there, is there, uh, are there multiple ways of looking at what the Taliban are currently saying? The other aspect is Sirajuddin Haqqani and the Taliban believe that America had no business striking on Afghan soil. America believes Taliban had no business harboring Ayman al-Zawahiri. Now, can both say we are unhappy, we are unhappy, but both knew what was going to happen. Is that a possibility? CNN News 18 had no inkling that Ayman al-Zawahiri was just a kilometer and a half away located and that this strike would happen. But the fact is that this talk when Taliban say that they do not want Afghanistan to be a hotbed for terror or an operation and they want to function individually and work for the people of Afghanistan, there comes a different dynamic. Ambassador Ashok Sajjanar and Brigadier Datta with us. Now, I am looking at the exact context in which we said we had, we, there was a little bit of a delay in putting out this interview because we had to, uh, also the interview answers were in Pashto. We had to try and get the English translations and we had to get the facts right in terms of what was said by Sirajuddin Haqqani because every word was very measured. And what, this is what he told us uh, and, and, and when we played out this excerpt, Ambassador Ashok Sajjanar, he very clearly came out and said that Al-Qaeda as an outfit he poses no threat to anybody in the world and this organization is as good as dead. He says this and 15 hours later, Ayman al-Zawahiri is dead, Ashok Sajjanarji. So there are two ways to look at it. One, we can't take the Taliban's word and we can't trust the Taliban because India is very actively engaging with the Taliban establishment because of the people-to-people -people connect and they want to establish people-to-people -people connect. We have resumed diplomatic operations, although not a full-fledged embassy, but visa processing has happened. Our envoys are, are on ground. Our attache is on ground to facilitate, it, uh, facilitate return of Afghan people who want to go back or those who want to come for education or for uh, health concerns. That's one. We are trying to also bring in trade. We are sending them 50,000 metric tons of wheat. We have pressurized Pakistan to open the gates. The Taliban are assuring full cooperation. So when, I, uh, when, when a Sirajuddin Haqqani says Al-Qaeda is as good as dead and 15 hours later Ayman al-Zawahiri is dead. But Sirajuddin Haqqani also said Al-Qaeda is not present on uh, uh, Afghan soil. So there are contradictions and there are also coincidences. How would you like to look at it? Yes, thank you very much, uh, Anand, for these questions. You've raised a number of questions, but before I respond to that very quickly, I would say kudos to you, to CNN uh, News 18 team, to Manoj Gupta and all your members, you know, for this absolutely phenomenal interview you've been doing this. You know, you did all these interviews around uh, the 15th of August last year. Yes. And uh, you haven't missed a step uh, uh, while getting us this interview also. Thank you. Now, coming to it, uh, as far as uh, Aman al Zawahiri's uh, 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 and uh, Sirajuddin Haqqani, his comments are concerned. Ji. You know, they have been mentioning this, that there is not a single terrorist group on the Afghan soil. And the countries don't really need to worry. They don't face any threat. Hmm. But of course, uh, the, the world has not believed uh, the Taliban dispensation. That is why, as I mentioned earlier, hmm. no country has uh, recognized them. You know, it's a question, of course, of women's rights, human rights, girl, child. You know, hmm. what is the condition, the condition of the minorities? But I think over and above all that is the fact that uh, countries in the neighborhood and uh, further away, 
are very apprehensive uh, about the presence of all these uh, uh, terrorist groups. Hmm. Uh, now, uh, I think India definitely feels that uh, all these groups have helped the Taliban to, so to say, come to power in Afghanistan. So there is no way that Taliban would be able to tell these groups whether it is Al-Qaeda or Jaish or Lashkar or any of the others that now that uh, we have come to power, we don't need you and you mm. will not be allowed to operate from our territory, from our soil. So I think they, this is a safe haven that has been provided to them. It will continue. Now, you can read a meaning in the words that, uh, mm. uh, you know, what uh, Sirajuddin Haqqani said that, Amana, that Al-Qaeda is dead. Mm. But I don't think he really implied, I don't think he had any inkling because I think uh, Al-Qaeda has been a very staunch, a strong and a long-standing supporter of the Taliban and mm. they would not uh, like to uh, give up uh, because that would, uh, mm. amongst the world of the terrorists, you know, mm. that would uh, uh, also impact on their credibility. Mm. As far as India is concerned, what you say, we are taking very uh, measured step, very small, uh, should I say, baby steps in moving forward. You would know that all the countries in the region, whether it is Iran, Uzbekistan, except mm. Tajikistan, all countries in the region are engaging with the Taliban, whether they have recognized them formally or not, whether they have, uh, they, all of them have their establishments, yeah. all of them have their embassies in Kabul, they are engaging with them. What we have been saying is, you know, our embassy never closed down because there were mm. local Afghan representatives who were always manning our embassy and as far as visa facilities are concerned they were being extended hmm. to the afghan people now we have moved in in a more proactive manner in terms of providing what you said very correctly anand 50000 tons of wheat to pakistan but also medical supplies yes. uh, whether it is covid 19 vaccines or other essential supplies through iran through dubai hmm. we have been providing to them this is a uh, you know, our people-to-people -people connect that we want to strengthen. Hmm. So again, we are uh, saying that it is purely functional reasons that our uh, officials are there. It is definitely hmm. not any indication of uh, diplomatic recognition. And I must say that uh, the statements that the position that India has taken hmm. has uh, been a major hmm. factor hmm. that other countries have not extended diplomatic recognition hmm. to uh, Afghanistan, to the Taliban uh, hmm. regime in Afghanistan. Otherwise, if India, so hmm. to say, you know, were to cross the line and uh, hmm. give indications that we well, are willing to work with, then I think it will have a very significant impact on the position that other countries are also Amba Ambassador Sajanar, before I bring in Brigadier Datta, I have a lot of uh, people who are interested and who have worked uh, uh, strategically in this uh, sphere and I've been watching the developments. I have a very interesting question. I've got Lieutenant General Abhay Krishna watching the broadcast and he's asking a question saying, please ask Ambassador Sajanar, what is the agenda of the US to kill Zawahiri in the prevailing situation? So it's, it's not... I think basically, yeah, uh, an interesting question, uh, General hmm. and... Uh, let me respond to it from my own perspective. Hmm. I think what uh, the United States has been trying to give the impression is that hmm. although it might be focused on the Russia-Ukraine conflict, although it might be focused on hmm. the Indo-Pacific, that is where the major challenges are. Hmm. Hmm. But it has not removed its eyes off Afghanistan. Hmm. Security and stability and peace and tranquility in the region hmm. continues to be very important. That is why you would have found that uh, the United hmm. States has been trying to reach out to countries in the region, whether it is Uzbekistan, whether it is uh, uh, Kazakhstan, you would have seen that uh, the foreign ministers of these countries were recently in Washington, D.C., and they have been talking about it. And there have also been discussions on uh, hmm. having bases there so that uh, they could carry out, the United States could carry out operations Hmm. in Afghanistan if uh, the needs, uh, if uh, such need arose. Hmm. So I think my response to uh, General hmm. Krishna would be that uh, uh, the United States definitely continues hmm. to be engaged and continues to be uh, very uh, mindful of uh, the situation in hmm. Afghanistan. It, do it doesn't want countries in the region also to think that there is a power vacuum hmm. into which uh, countries like right. China or Russia can uh, walk in. Right. But Brig 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 Brig